So really quick, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial on trade entry. Trade entry. So this is how I enter my trades. Um, so let's take a quick look. All right. So let's say for instance, I'm on the daily chart, right? Um, and I get a signal to go short right here, right where I put this line right here. As you can see, um, the overall trend is down. Downtrend in market right here. So you see a weakness in price. Price came up, tapped this level, came up again, tapped this level. Right. Confluence with a um, with supply right here, along with this level. So it came up and tapped it. So we have weakness in price. So when it comes up again right here, boom, there's a signal to go short. Price is showing weakness. My momentum indicators are short, going short right here. Um, overbought, oversold indicator, along with TDI. Well, my modified TDI. Um, everything is showing me, giving me a signal to go short. So what I would do at this point, at the close of this day, right here, I will go ahead and just, I won't take the trades yet. I'll go ahead and just put, just mark off where my potential trade entry is going to be. Because remember, here's the signal, here's the close of this candle right here that actually gave me the trade. Let me move this line right here. This is the close of the candle that actually gave me the trade. But here is the actual trading day right here. So this candle closed, the new day starts here. So now let me put that vertical line back. I'm going to put it on the actual trading day, right? Again, here's my signal. Potentially my stop loss will be right here at this way high this swing high right here that's my stop loss right so let's go down to a four hour chart okay bigger for you we found my signal so I'm on a four hour chart now as you guys can see so here is the here is where we uh here's the beginning of the next day right here is where we had a potential entry and the stop loss no matter what it pretty much stays the same I mean, we can adjust it right here to make it a little tighter. We can put it either behind this um, this level here, or we can put it at the swing high and make it as tight as possible. I like to make it as tight as possible because if price pulls back and it goes above this level right here, then it tells me obviously um, I'm in the wrong direction of the market. You know, my my analysis, my prediction is wrong, so I want to be out of the trade as soon as possible. That's why my stop losses are at the swing high. All right, now for entry. Here's how we actually enter the trade. So I go from a four hour where I adjusted the stop loss down to a one hour chart. All right. So let me close that out. The chart over. So now we're on a one hour chart. Again, we can adjust the stop loss a little bit more. Get a little tighter. Boom. All right. Now, so I have several ways I enter the trade. Depends on you know, how I feel. You know, it's all mechanical, but it depends. I can either enter at 4 a.m. at the beginning of the London session, or if it gives me a nice pullback prior to that, um, I could take the trade a little sooner. But again, I want to adjust my entry because here's a level right here. So I know I don't want to be in the trade until it breaks this level. So I'll just, I'll just bring my price up to this level right here. And I adjust my entry here. So now, so here's the actual trade. I may go ahead and put in a sell stop right here, or I may wait to the to the um, to the beginning of the London session. So that's 3 a.m. So the actual uh, London session starts right here with this candle. But uh, so essentially, the entry will still be the same. And like I said, so here's the here's the risk of the trade. I'm risking 146 pips. Boom. To make the first take profit of 146 pips, I may cut my trade into two positions. So if I'm risking 2% on the trade, the first position would be 1%, the second position would be another be another 1%. So boom, there it is, 147 pips. Uh, I see this is a one hour chart, so each each uh, session represents one day. So that's where I went into the trade on this day. So Yesterday, after, so that's two days. That's, that's two and a half days. 
three days. After the three and a half days, I'm at 89 pips. And then going into the fourth day. Oh, so it took me like, well, it's a little bit, this trade took me longer. So it took me like five days to actually hit the take profit of 140 some, some odd pips. That's not bad for a lot of traders, 140 pips would be an excellent um, trading week for them. Right, so we can take that one position and we can hit 146 pips in one week. Um, just this one position is a pretty good trade. And with this strategy, because I take all my signals on a daily chart, I'm usually getting about, I average maybe one trade per, um, per, per currency pair per month. So I'm trading about 31 currency pairs. So I usually get about, you know, 25 to 30 trades a month you know um, trading this strategy and overall as you can see from the market like so here's where I would have went short here here's where I would have went short right here here's where I would have went short right um, went short right there would have went short right here would have went short Short sure here, would have went long here. So I would actually put my last stop here. Mm -hmm. These are actual trade guys. I trade the extremes, so I, I wouldn't have took a trade in here. I wouldn't have took a trade in here. Now I trade the extremes. I would have been holding, I would have been probably holding my position there, that second position. This probably would have been a loss. We're in July, so it's seven months out of the year. So we would have got one trade. We would have actually had a trade here. I was not, not there. Potentially here coming off this level. But let's just say we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven months into the year, and this month isn't done yet. We had seven trades, and we could have taken an eight trade right here. Boom. That was a trade right there. All of these look like they would have been winners. Cause the you know, stop loss here, the swing high stop loss would have been here, 168. Easy, easy, easy. So they would have been winners. So as you can see, this is a really good strategy that I trade. It gives you like one trade a month, and to increase how many trades you take a month, just look. Look at all these currency pairs you can potentially trade. You feel me? There's a lot of pairs you can trade. So that's how I do it. Just want to do a quick video, quick analysis of how I take the trades. Um, you guys have a good day. FXQ.